Lucy and Claire, you wanted dog books, so here's a dog book. This one's Pretzel by Margaret Ray. Hold on. One morning in May, five little dachshunds were born. Pretzel, Paul, Patricia, Priscilla, and Percival. One of them was Pretzel. The per puppies grew up the way puppies do. The first few weeks, they all looked exactly alike. But after nine weeks, Pretzel started growing and growing and growing. Can you tell which one's Pretzel? He grew much longer than any of his brothers or sisters. And when he was fully grown, he was the longest dachshund in the world. Pretzel was pleased with himself because it's very distinguished for a dachshund to be so long. When he was one year old, a dachshund has grown up at that age, he won the blue ribbon at the dog show. Everyone considered him the best looking dog of all. There's like Rosie. Can you see that dog like Rosie? I bet that's Stanley. You see those little ears? I don't see Barney and Norm. All the dogs admired him and all the people admired him. Only Greta didn't. Oh, there's Stanley. Look. Um, oh, there's Barney or Norm right there. So Greta didn't admire him. Greta was the little dachshund from across the street and Pretzel was in love with her and wanted to marry her. But Greta just laughed at him. I don't care for long dogs, she said, but it's very distinguished for a dachshund to be so long. I won the blue ribbon at the dog show, said Pretzel. I still don't care, said Greta. Pretzel was hurt, but he did not show it. Please marry me, he said, and I will do anything for you. Prove it, said Greta and went away. She wasn't very nice, was she? So Pretzel set out to prove it. First, he brought Greta a nice big bone. Thanks for the bone, said Greta, but I won't marry you for that. I don't care for long dogs. So she ate the bone and forgot about Pretzel. Pretzel had to try something else. He gave her the lovely rubber ball that he had been given for his birthday. Thank you, said Greta, but I still won't marry you. I don't care for long dogs. Besides, everyone can give presents. And she ran away with the ball. Look what I can do, said Pretzel when they met again. Nobody except me can do that. And this is what he did. Look, he tied himself into a pretzel. Not bad, said Greta. Your name certainly fits you, but I like the pretzels at the baker's better. And I still don't care for long dogs. Poor Pretzel was very unhappy. Some weeks passed. Greta wouldn't even speak to Pretzel. One day when she was playing with her ball, it bounced away. She tried to catch it and boops, Greta and the ball landed in a hole. This is danger, men at work. Greta tried to get out of the hole, but she couldn't. It was much too deep. She was terribly scared. If nobody came to save her, she might never, never. Just then, Pretzel's face appeared over the edge of the hole. Oops. I'll get you out of there, he shouted. He had been watching Greta all the time. Now he rushed to help her. How good that Pretzel was so long. Pages are sticking, sorry. I believe you saved my life. You are wonderful, said Greta with a sigh. Will you marry me now, asked Pretzel. I will, but not for your length. So they kissed each other and got married. Look at that. And one morning in May, five little dachshunds were born. Look at that, Greta had some puppies. Pretzel. 